In this lesson, we are going to use a random number table to generate a random sample. In the first problem, we want to generate a random sample of size 10 from a population of size 86. The first thing that we must do is assign unique labels to the 86 individuals in the population. It does not matter how we label those 86 individuals other than they must each be a unique label. Let's talk about one unique labeling. Because there are 86 individuals in the population, I'm going to use two digit labels for each individual. One possibility is the first person in the population can be labeled 00, the second person 01, 02, all the way up to 85. Here we have 86 unique labels for the 86 individuals in the population. What's another way we could have done it? We could have done, we could have started at 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, dot, 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 up to 86. Again, we have 86 unique labels, a different label for each individual in the population. You do want to make sure that every label has the same number of digits, however, because that is how many digits at a time we will take from our random number table. We are now ready to start selecting numbers from our random number table. Again, because our labels are two digits long, we will select two digits at a time from our table. It does not matter where you start in the table. You can randomly pick a position to start in the table and select two digits at a time. We are going to start right here. Our first person in the sample is the individual that is labeled 76. The second person selected is the person labeled 86. I guess we should have decided which of these labeling methods we are going to use for our population. I'm going to select this as our labeling for the 86 individuals in our population. Because 86 is not one of our labels, we just ignore this 86 and we go on and we select two more digits. We get 61, so the person labeled 61 is in our sample. Two more digits gives us the person labeled 43. Person labeled 30 is in our sample. Now we go to the next row. Do we have a label of 89? No, we do not, so we just ignore those two digits and we go and we select to the two next digits and we see that person labeled 79 is in our sample. Person labeled 33 becomes part of the sample. Person labeled 43, but we see that 43, individual with label 43, is already in our sample. So again, we just ignore those two digits and go on to the next two. We get 78. Person labeled 78 is in our sample. We still need three more to complete our sample of size 10. Person labeled 08 is in our sample. 73. I believe we need one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We need one more. Person labeled 05 is in our sample. So anyone with labels from this list are part of our sample. What if instead we wanted to generate a random sample of size 25 from a population of size 375? Again, the first thing we must do is come up with unique labels for everyone in the population. Because there are 375 individuals in the population, I'm going to use three digits in my unique label. I can start with 000, 001, 002, all the way up to 374. You can choose another labeling method that you want. Just make sure that each individual gets a unique label. Because our labels are three digits long, we want to select three digits from the random number table. 
Again, it does not matter where you start in the table. Let's start right here. We see that the individual with label 158 is in our sample. Take the next three digits, 384. Is 384 a label in our group? No, it's not. So we just ignore the 384 and select the next three digits. 717, is 717 a label? No, it's not. So again, we ignore those three and go to the next three. 476 is too, too high. We ignore that. 866 is too high. We ignore that. 143, the person labeled 143 becomes part of our sample. The next three, 309, we can use person labeled 309. 979 is too large, select the next three. 334, we can use individual 334. You continue going through the random number table until you have your t sample size of 25. Any label that is greater than 374, you ignore. If you happen to get a repeat, if we would get another 309, we would ignore that number. Continuing in this process, you continue until you have a, a unique sample of size 25, and there is your random sample.